What's up guys? So um I'm doing this beginner guys uh be <laughs> beginner guide stream. Um today's topic is basically um back at the whole like uh class tutorial thing. And uh we talked about skills a little bit uh last time in Star Power, but when it comes to like level one through thirty, I wanted to talk about probably what is the like the easiest way uh to get uh, your skills up so if you have a main account or someone to help you that's kind of strong that's willing to waste two ancient tombs uh, you can get whatever character you want every day and so what you do is I would take all my and cold Maki away okay and we would summon my DPS pets and then we go and we summon them in the correct convergence order for tanking. And then I have my full team, as you see. We go into um, the supervisor for the Divine Fire. Okay. Got to hide this guy so I can actually click it. And then we go to Lava Shrine. And this one is for all of the, the uh, level 1, uh, sorry, level 10 and 20s. So I'm going to do hard lava shrine so we get more uh, crystals, okay? Click yes. And then you invite the team. Now, the way that you do this uh, effectively, okay, is you take, if you have any necromancers, you simply just need them to hit it, okay? And just in case... Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I don't think I need to unlock a shrine. I don't need to converge anything. Um, we're going to summon the Infernal Queen on my two Necromancers. So they're going to do some damage. Because when you're doing Ancient Tomb, especially if you're new, uh, probably the most important thing is just doing at least a little bit of damage. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to get the reward. So even if you hit one damage, the way that this works is um, you're able to take place in the event and for some reason I'm glitching of course <sighs> sorry guy you know it's just a piece of shit I can't summon him but I can summon whatever okay so well let me summon the infernal queen I don't know why you know just a big dumb piece of shit game I guess sometimes um, no, I mean, you know, joking aside, I do like this game. I do play it, like, all the time, but, uh, there's just, yeah, sometimes there's some glitches in this game that I just wish that would have been fixed, like, ten years ago, and they're still here and still strong, and they've never been fixed, you know? Okay, so, uh, let me get the other guy. Hopefully, he's able to summon his Hades Saint, and he is, but she can't. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. And so... We got Zoli, and so basically what we're going to do is, um, to time this, since I'm using alts, is we're going to take the, pal the Paladin, and we're going to ha have him hit Falling Star, and then we're going to have Warrior hit Whirlwind, the alt, and then the Warrior is going to start the battle. So this way everybody gets a hit in, and nobody um, doesn't do any damage, okay? Uh, you can also just do uh, Void Space, like I just call it the Black Hole, basically. And uh, that will also proc everything to work correctly. Um, you know, what do I have up here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, so we get Retribution over here. Yeah, this probably takes about five minutes to set up. No joking, it's probably like a minute to get everybody all the way over. But you only need to do it once, I think, or twice. Uh, it's once or twice, and then you can uh, convert it. So it's basically going to take you two days to get your level 10 and level 20 skill. Okay, so go over here again. And then, but we're only it's only going to take us once, one time, because I already tested this, and I um, got star crystal dust yesterday. So, we're, yeah, we're only going to need to do it once. I actually have some dust on some alts as well. So, I don't technically have to do this, but just for the sake of actually showing this in principle, uh, if you have somebody to help you 
or if you have uh, a character that can like semi do this you know even if it's like it, it's not very hard to solo the normal version of lava shrine i think most people can do it even if they have like uh 5000 d fire and i showed some other videos how to get your d fire level to 60 and also how uh you can uh, farm up the D fire stuff, especially if you're getting login bonus and you're getting hellfires. Uh, this is going to be super easy to do, like really, really, really easy. Okay, so we're going to go to Zully and we're going to find Retribution is three and Zully is one. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this three, one, and then we're going to go to three and we're going to start the battle. And then now we're going to hit him with my main. And the honeybee isn't even attacking on my Jesus Christ. Okay, now she is. Yeah, this thing's just fucking weird. So I actually might even just do the... Uh, damage a little higher than this because I'm hitting, I'm going over the required amount of damage to kill him in like two bursts. So I might as well do the hardest one just because I get the chance for the uh, stamps if I do the hardest difficulty. And it doesn't look like the hardest difficulty will take more than like, like 30 seconds. So if we don't get the thing, then we're gonna, we're gonna do this like that. Okay. So... We got the capture box, uh, you know, obviously, so we got seven crystal dust for finishing the hard, and then of course we're just going to take the universal because, you know, whatever. Uh, now we got Zully, so nobody died except Foul Shadow, so I only got to bring one guy back over. Uh, we got we got crystal dust, so we got seven times five crystal dust if it keeps going at this rate, so let's see how much she got. Um, yeah. Seven Crystal Dust, okay. Nirvana Flame. Hey, it's all worthless, really not worth keeping, but it's just for the sake of uh, getting the skills unlocked for your alts. Okay, and then let's get him. Uh, yeah. Yep, claim now. And then Foul Shadow. He needs to be resurrected though, so whatever. <sighs> now we get to see what it's like if you're a dumb sack of shit who only knows how to buy shards on worthless E demons. My god. Yeah, I was seeing some joke, uh, some video where there's a guy who does this really bad on um London, okay, so I guess he's like five, almost 5k BP, but in Evil Abyss, he always ranks like last because he can't do shit for damage, because it's just, you know, he's only got BP pets. Yeah. BP pets are great for doing Dragon Continent, I guess, and you're and someone doesn't have the actual uh, requirement to, yeah, isn't fused yet with the Serpent Killer. But anything that's actually damage related, these people are doing really, really bad now. Because they're just, they're focusing all their effort into BP. And the game is trying to get away from that a little bit. Um, if no one's really noticed, the game is kind of gearing itself more towards stats now than before. So you don't really accomplish anything anymore in this game by um, doing, okay, so... We got this. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Trade. Uh, retribution. No. What? Where the fuck is? Oh okay. You got the chaos orb, but that's pretty big, much uh, worthless. Okay, so we got the crystal now with the full thing and we're gonna go down 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 and we're gonna do the one for Haladin okay now we have a crystal for um, Scarlet Divine Punishment and then we're gonna have to give that to our ult okay 
And now we're going to go get the other higher level version, um, which eh, it sucks because this is basically useless now, but whatever. It's a uh, it's a required evil. Okay, so we put the jungle fire away. We just throw that away, and then we'll we'll use this for composing. But as you see, it's only going to use like what is that? A uh, hundred points, basically. <laughs> so worthless. Whatever. And um, now we're going to go to the next one, which the next one for farming skills is going to be um, normal or hard on Ghost Island. I'm going to do normal just because it's just going to be super fast. The DPS requirement on this is like 15 million. And because all my all my other guys are basically going to die, I'll be able to do the full 40 million damage on this guy. So I can just like uh, keep my damage very consistent. So uh, I just don't want to mess around doing it on hard or whatever. Kind of pointless to me. Okay, so we go Zelly. Go down our line again. And we basically do the exact same setup. We're just gonna we're gonna try to do Hades Saints and both the Necromancers. Uh, so everybody just gets a couple hits in. And then we're gonna go in with our main and we're just gonna kill it very quickly. Uh, if this is not so he's already got star crystal fragments and so does I think two of the other um, alts. Okay. So I'm going to take these from the warehouse after we're done with this i'm just going to combine it into a paladin uh, skill and then we're going to log into samiel and we're going to show you how this works uh okay and then we go to oh wait you know you know what actually let's just um put the hades saint down okay and then we're going to go attribution we're, we're just going to go down the list you know in order because i really don't feel like um procrastinating it very long because, like I said, they're all going to die anyways. I just need them to do something. It doesn't matter how much. Okay, so bring them up. And hopefully this stupid biatch is going to be able to summon her Infernal Queen. If she can't, I'm going to be pissed because, like, I don't know why it's glitching out. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just make this easier. And we're going to go to Infernal Queen again. And we're just going to drop it back in. Uh, oh, that's cool. I wonder if it's flying or not, though. Probably not. I probably gotta get to level 50, my Necro Spirit. I think her Necro Spirit's only like level 20. Uh, Foul Shadows is actually like 50, but um, that's just because I got bored with him and I kept like training it every day without really caring. And after you know a couple months of doing it like subconsciously, I got his pretty high. So, all right. Um, okay, we got everybody over here except the main. So we're going to grab Honeybee, and we're going to see, okay, so she was able to get summoned this time, and, okay, we got both, okay, now we grab the main and bring them over here, yeah, actually, in about uh, nine minutes, we're probably going to get uh, Sassy Maki to 99% or level 140, finally. Uh, it's been a while, trust me. Uh, I can't believe how long I've been trying to get her leveled up. It's probably been since I got her. I was able to get her to level 138, probably on like the fifth day I had her. So probably close to a month I've been trying to level her up one level. But that's just because I haven't had the uh, super uh, crystals until now. All right, so we're going to go to Zully. Okay, we're going to... Summon this, summon, summon, and then we're going to go to Retribution. Okay, and then it looks like... Oh, what the hell? He he did it too? That's crazy. I don't know how this works, honestly. This is so weird to me. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. I don't really know how this works. This uh, this thing seems to be really backwards. Like sometimes I'm doing like, uh, okay, no, I'm doing forty million like I'm supposed to. Okay, 
and now they're all going to die. There we go. But they all did damage, right? And that's just the, the important part. So, yeah, we got 40, we're doing our 40 million about. Uh, with a little bit of lag, it's going to probably drop to about 35 million. But uh, if I have my music up like this and I'm not streaming, it's about 41 million my damage right now. Uh, I would like to get it to 50 million because that way I could actually carry a um, a hero team, you know, and then that way I could be the guy that could be like, oh, I'm looking for a couple members. If you're playing, let me know, right? But uh, not yet. But I think... If I get my demon eye to 20, uh, I might be able to do, like like I said, like 40, 41 million. I got two more levels to go, but um, the last two levels are pretty exponential, and the amount of like bonus it gives you per level at that point is pretty high. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it brings me to doing like, uh, you know, 39 to 40 million to 41 million just in those two levels. But... Yeah, I haven't even been doing uh, Eternal Hell other than normal on solo. I've been soloing the... Uh... Oh, well. Alright, so we got a capture box, and we should get... There we go, the Star Crystal Fragments. So... This one's going to be a little different. We're going to have to lock, we're going to have to respawn everybody, and then run them back through. And now, like I said, I already have a couple of the crystals in the um, warehouse on some on some of these, I think. So we're going to search our warehouse and we're going to try to get the all the crystals out. And uh, if not, then I'll just show you the skill that it trains. And what bonus it gives because I I did this trick on all my alts, you know. Okay, so oh yeah, I gotta grab the flame, I guess. I mean, like I said, these flames are basically worthless now. Like uh, all your alts get better shit in Chaos Sacred if they're sixty-five, um, di uh, divine level. Like I said, it's been it's a really big difference now. Uh, the level 65s are more than twice as good as the level 60s, and the level 70s are going to be more than twice as good as the level 65, so, it, yeah, this is going to get really weird really quick. Um, I think the only reason that there's really going to be to farm Eternal Hell anymore is going to be uh, the pet drops, because there are pets that are going to be exclusive to that boss. Uh, I actually can show you, um, right now, uh, after we get these star crystals. Okay, so run retribution. Uh, let's run them up. And the other reason you want to do the um, hards and hells versions on all these is because you can get stamps and the level 30 through uh, 60 uh, crystals, okay? Uh, it's a rare drop. But if you can solo it, right, you might as well, you might as well try to get the better stuff, you know, farmed. Okay, now we got full shadow. Now I know for a fact he's got some because we were just looking at it, so he's got 28 already. Uh, after getting the other 35, he's going to be a little short. But like I said, I'm going to check the inventory because I'm pretty sure I got a couple. So, all right. Do I have them on here? Probably not. I dumped a bunch of crystals on my main, actually. I had like four stacks, but I got rid of them from the storage because uh, I wasn't really... This was a while ago. This is before I made the uh, new accounts, and I just really, really wasn't planning on ever making new characters, and I was like, dude, these are useless. I'm going to get rid of them, and then I did, and kind of regretting it, honestly, now, but uh, whatever. So we got another universal flame, so basically another 100 growth. We're going to return. We're going to check the storage and see if we actually have enough. But it looks like you got to do about three. So it's three days. It'll take you three days. Yeah, here we go. So we're gonna, just going to use this one. Um, so I did have one more left on my main. Okay, that's good. 
So we're still going to trade everybody, and we're going to get this other one filled. Yep. Wait, where the hell is he? Oh, okay. Trade it. And then we're going to trade uh, Honeybee. Yeah. Trade Retribution. Yeah. Do, do, do. Hey, what the hell was that? See, this is stupid shit. Okay, trade retribution. Okay. And then we just gotta trade Fall Shadow. Yep. And then with Fall Shadow, uh, we're just gonna trade the whole stack. The 28 stack and the, uh, the 35 stack, I mean. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, we're going to just combine the small stack, at least, and we're going to put this in storage just in case I need to use it for another alt. Okay, so we got 63. Now we're going to combine this, and we're going to turn this into the Paladin skill. Um, here we go, Crystal of Doom. And now we're going to use these on Semiel. So let me go. Uh, I'll be right back, obviously, because I need to log into the account. I just like to hide the information. So please stay. All right, and we're back. And I think to, yep, yay, we got it. So we got my uh, Penaceas on this account as well. And we also got some special XP balls. So once I get him to like 133, we can uh, start training up the uh, Lila on him as well for all the 25 stars we got. So claim and exit. Okay, and then let's go back to the market. Hmm. This is some good shit, bro. Mm. So, divine punishment and holy judgment are the two um skills we're gonna get updated. So, uh, if you haven't already guessed by seeing me in other streams of my other paladin, basically this makes an area that causes the damage after you've already casted for a few seconds. And then this one has a build up to where you do a couple attacks and it does like an overcharge attack that's a lot more powerful. Trade. Trade. And there we go. You're out of two skills. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and use these. Scarlet, and we're going to activate them as well. Um, like I said, uh, my stream on tomorrow, my Dibble streams, is going to be more XP grinding on this character to get him to 60. Uh, I've only spent a couple hours doing it, but it's just, you know, it's meticulous as hell. It's just, you know. All right, so let's go back to my main, and then let's find an item that I need to use these Oracle Stones on. So it looks like... So that's plus nine, plus three, plus three, plus four, plus six, plus three. So we're going to do the armor because that's the next closest one to plus four. So we're going to trade. We're going to accept the trade. Okay, and then we're going to bring that over. Trade. 
and trade. I got a couple other things to co uh, cover, but this is probably one of the be biggest. Oh, wow. I forgot it's random. It's uh, this bag is random. I actually forgot about that. But the level up bonus is set, so for getting 130, uh, you do get a guaranteed good bonus. So we're gonna we're gonna hope. I just got normal ones again. Oh, that is not lucky. Basically, our whole purpose is we want to try to get this to 10,000, you know. And uh, I do also want to keep building up the pets on the alt, so I don't want to like overly abuse using the eternal points to get this to 10,000, but. I don't really think we have a choice because this didn't really go as planned. So uh, I think I'm gonna upgrade. Yep, confer status. Yay! All right. Um, let's go to our event store though and, and just check. So I I think I'm gonna buy two because I haven't done Black Arena and I haven't done any of the other stuff. And he has more than enough points to uh, get the special universal up. And he also has the universal six stars now. So that's not really enough to go over in anymore so 625 so basically it takes 15 15 16 in order to get this to plus four uh that's not really a lot it's basically two per mannequin so it's three thousand eternal store points i have way more than enough to do this but i gotta do it three more times or two more times in order to get one more bp and I'd much rather be using the EP store points on uh, six stars for my main, so I just don't really bother with it right now. But this is very important for Evil This. So um, if you can get your main armor piece um, to plus nine, uh, it will really help you in Evil This. People will do a crap load less damage on you. So uh, that is definitely. Oh, you know, no, 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 no. Sorry, what am I doing? Uh, I'm gonna be using the. Uh, Level up gift. What am I doing? Okay. Level up. Here we go. Oh, I can't claim it. I gotta empty out a little bit more space. Uh, like I said, it's just it's just easy because uh, I can also use these on my uh, what's your column? Sorry, wait. Uh, merchant. Oh, whoa, my inventory is actually full. Cray, cray. I don't even know what to get rid of, actually. Surprised. I actually got some decent stuff on here that's full still. Huh? Uh, we're going to do the six star and we're going to converge it. We're going to actually put, put it in. Okay. Uh, now, maybe we have enough room. Oh, wait, we got to dump something in the warehouse. Let's do the violet stone. Okay, now let's try to do it with a level up. Also, let's do the sign in bonus. Screw it. Level up, clean. Damn, I still have too much room. Uh, to be frank, I don't really know what to get rid of. Um, get rid of these. Uh, Let's get rid of this. It says it's full. I can't even use it anyway, supposedly. All right, now we got eight rooms. That should be more than enough. Okay, level up. Claim. What the fuck? Seriously? How much room do I need to claim this shit? All right, I'm going to start dropping this too then. Damn it. Um... Drop the Neverland map. Screw that. All right, now we got ten spots. I swear, if it doesn't let me do it now, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pe peeled. What? How? All right, do I got a? Man, this is crazy. How the hell is my? How, how many slots does it take to do this claim? All right, let's get rid of two of these. Let's put in the these max. Yeah, max. Okay. Let's drop them. Okay, if, if it doesn't let me claim it now, I'm going to be really shocked. Level up. Claim. What the fuck? Dude, how many spots do I fucking need to do this? It's like I... It's ridiculous. What the shit, bro? 
Okay, is this enough? 13. Oof. God, oh, that's, that's a lot. Oh, because they're all individual. That's so stupid. Okay. Um, okay. We are actually going to use the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the weapon, though, because, as I said before, I have everything to super define on my main, so, like, god tiers are one of the only things that I immediately sell or use if they're on alts, because I've maxed that out. I don't need them anymore. All right, so, uh, let's, let's hope we get some good luck here. Because this isn't sealed, so this would actually be a sellable object. I oh, know it's not it's bound. Okay, well, I'm not very good. I don't have very good luck with that, so whatever. Um, okay, let's do this quick, I guess. I mean, that's pointless shit, but whatever. Okay, um... Couldn't... Let's level this up. Eh. 50,000 XP, 50,000, 45,000. So this is the lowest requirement. Alright, so while we wait for that, let's do a nice little stretch. <laughs> Alright, and then back onto the topic of the video. But this little intermission is, is fine because it correlates with the use of these skills. Because I still need to use this character for the skills. And uh, I am. I think I'm just gonna fill uh, finish up plus fouring that on my main after we uh, talk about the skill thing because my character is really close now to plus fouring that uh, on his alt. So I might as well. <laughs> might as well. All right. Okay. Now. We're going to go into Divine Skill. We're going to Star Power. And we got 20 points left. So this is actually uh, very useful. So we're going to go for Doom. And what Doom basically does. So see right here, it gives like a information of what it happens, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to do the Critical Strike. Because we did went over that in the last video. That this uh, does a lot more damage having a higher critical chance. Um, than the actual damage buff. So it's a much higher overall damage than um, just the damage buff. So we're going to acquire this, okay? And now we see it changes, and now on the bottom it says, okay, uh, DPS, immune, three seconds. Every successful hit will attach just um, debuff that causes within five seconds a total of uh, 10... Uh, 1,000 magic damage, okay? After casting the skill three times, the next time will deal 140% extra damage. So that's the status for Doom, okay? And then, uh, we got this one, okay? Now, this uh, is really easy to show because um, skill damage of divine, we're going to do the critical strike, okay? And we're going to acquire Gift. Now, this one's really self-explanatory because you can actually see what it does by casting it. So you cast it now, and you see the circle here, okay? The circle does damage to everything in the radius while it's lasting, and it gives a little cooldown um, little cooldown thing to let you know like how much time is left before the cast cools down, blah, 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 okay? Now... Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this leveling this up. Uh, actually, I think on my level up. Oh, no, we used up all the level ups. Wow, okay. Um, ooh, we got more We got more god tier bags, huh? We got more god, stone, god tiers. Me over here, Mr. Greedy, I guess. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do this again. We're going to try one more time. <laughs> I can't help it, you know? Uh, I got really good luck on stream, because uh, when I did my stream like two days ago, 
Um, I ha- I've been trying for like a month to get the... Uh... Oh, yeah. They're... Dude, I got such good luck on stream. Wow, that's really, that's really amazing. I can't believe how good my luck is on stream, man. All right, so this is Earth Attack, and this is Earth Attack. Uh, this does extra damage, but if I get this up, this is a lot more extra damage, so we're just going to try to delete this. Uh, I don't really think this is going to work. You can try, but I mean, I'd be really shocked if I would have been successful there. Okay, so we're going to go back to the event store, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and uh, waste this. Uh, it's not my proudest moment to spend on something I can't even, I'm not using on this account, but whatever. Uh, okay, now we're going to go find my main. I have no idea where he is. Okay, he's over here. He's not very far. Okay, We're going to run down and we're going to trade to my own. Trade. And let's get our item back. Trade. 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 Okay. And, um... So every every super skill, okay. Back on topic. Sorry, uh, I've been kind of rambly today, huh? Um, so this right here, um, I wish it would tell you. I wish it would give you a description on what exactly this does, okay? So right here, this does you know eight attacks, and there's a forty percent chance to trigger an execution, which is actually what Sky Judgment does. So, oh, maybe not. You know what? What does Sky Judgment do? Acquire gift. Okay. Increases the chance to trigger to forty percent. Okay. Um. So, oh, I know what it does. Every time it's a critical chance. So if I acquire gift, watch what happens. Okay. Um. Execution certainly makes critical damage. Okay. So that's what the upgrade does on this. Um, Shaking Strike, the bonus, is actually just a increased chance of critical strike, generally. Um, I don't really know why it's um, just that. It's just an, a little bit extra chance for, for, for critical. So it says right here, Gathering Flame Energy to attack. Extra front, 147% damage. The flame will deal extra physical damage, and it also increases the um, critical chance. So I have a little bit of extra critical chance, and that's it on this. Uh, now, actually, once I can claim my my uh, sky tower, oh, you know what? Rizzoli. We're going to grab that mana spring. Okay. Hey, man. Uh, that mana, mana springs are always a good little thing to grab. Because I don't feel like running... It's useful for ults, you know? Okay. Um, there we go. Alright, so... Um, let's go back to Star Power. Okay. Now, let's go to Furious Leap. Now, Furious Leap is actually a really good one to have a... Uh, a, a a boost for. Uh, actually, when I do my, uh, here we go, Divine Fire, um, Deity Land, okay, when I do my upgrade right here, um, I'm actually going to use these two extra points to Divine Fire, oh, sorry, uh, Star Power, uh, in order to get the upgrade. Because this upgrade gives an extra like two seconds of stun, and uh, that's very useful for um, Evil Abyss and anything that's PvP oriented. Because if you can't kill the person, and you're a warrior, for example, and I cast my Fearless, I can cast my Fiery Leap, and I can have them stun for three seconds as I go run away. So it's, it's very useful for escaping uh, damage and stuff. Okay, so... Uh, we got a couple other things to go over, too, with, uh, with star power upgrades. Um, usually the absolute best 
upgrade for any particular class is not the level 60, it's the level uh, 50. The level 50s are usually the best upgrades. Like for example, um, warriors, um, it's a immunity to status. Okay, so you can't be stunned, you can't be damage reflected, you can't be silenced, uh, you're just immune to basically everything. Okay, for um, for paladins, okay, if you go to star power, okay, and we go to void circle, uh, void circle inhibition okay and it inhibits people's ability to cast so it's like the opposite of rampage instead of making it to where you're immune to um effects it makes it to where people can't cast abilities and it uh you know so if you really want to i would recommend going max move speed reduction and then inhibition if you were going to use utility and pvp um the other the second best um, stone I've heard, and this is not too cheap, is actually glory, because it increases the amount of hits, it makes it faster, supposedly, and, uh, it's, trust me, it's, it's absolutely insane DPS. So, if you're a paladin, I would definitely go for glory if you're gonna pay, or you're gonna really farm for one that's not easy to get, like the first two levels, and, um, the level 50, because it's amazing for PvP, and the level 6 is pretty good, but I think all I heard is it does like an extra phantom or it does like a little bit extra points. So it's not like, it's not, it's not so amazing for how much it costs. Like the, the glory crystal is actually better for the price than the level 60. So the level 40 for a paladin is better than the level 60. At least the upgrade stone is. Okay. And uh, I mean, I think that about covers it um, for... The skills and how to farm the level 10 and 20 crystals uh, like I said if you really want to have a high chance of getting the 30s and 40s what you do is uh, it actually shows you here if you go to instances okay and you go to um, lava shrine okay you can get the level 40 sky crystal so glory for your paladin and um, you have to do the maximum nightmare. So you'd have to challenge nightmare, and you'd have to do this a couple times. And if you're really lucky, after you know maybe 10, 20 times with full ults, uh, you'll eventually get a sky crystal. Uh, if you want to get level 50, you have to do nightmare, um, ghost island, and then um, thunder zone. You can get the stamps. But it doesn't matter what the difficulty is. So you can do normal, hard, or nightmare, and you get the stamps. Uh, for Eternal Hell, uh, honestly, I don't know um, how you're supposed to get the 40 and 50 crystals, uh, crystals, because I've done hard, nightmare, and normal on Eternal Hell, and I've been doing this for more than a month, and I've never gotten any of any of these two. I haven't even gotten this either. Um, now. On this, I've done this more than 15 times, and I've never gotten a demon eye. The only demon eye I have is the one I bought, sadly enough, right? So um, when it comes to farming, I'd actually stick to the level 60 stuff. Uh, and if you're trying to get a level 60 skill crystal, then you're going to probably have to do... Uh, you're going to have to buy it or wait for Warlord, or you're going to have to like really hope you're lucky on like Nightmare Thunder, but nobody does that anymore. And it's not really something you can solo, so you're just going to try to see if you're luckier than me when it comes to Eternal Hell and <laughs> just start farming hard in, 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 in Immortal difficulties a lot and hope that eventually you're going to get that crystal. Because if you're lucky and you get it, then, you know, you save yourself a whole lot of damn time and, uh, you know, you have one of the best skills unlocked for your particular class. Sorry, I'm trying to look for 25 stars quick before we end the stream. Uh, nobody's really selling them. I got all this gold now, all this money, and nobody's selling anything. Uh, I even bought a couple stacks of uh, uh, Universal 30 shards, and just nothing's on sale. But actually, I'm going to claim all my crafting for, level, for the level 4 potions, because I'm about to go on my... Uh, Maki, and I'm about to try to get these to level four. 
Uh, I mean, it's not really good practice, but I got like 30 level 2 and 30 level 3 soul potions. And then we're going to have 20 level 4s. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough to get one of the skills up. If not, I'm going to lose like 3 VP, but it's not going to be forever. Because I can craft another 40 level 4s before I would run out and have to go to Mad City. And I really don't think that's going to happen because getting this only took like 3 level 4s. Um, it seems like the BP talents are pretty easy to roll, at least in my, in, in my luck. So, um, I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Alright, well, I think that's going to be the video. Um, like I said, this is just the beginner's guide for just how to farm the, um, the upgrade crystals, because we did go over the skills themselves the last stream. Alright, well, if you guys liked it, don't forget to, uh, comment, like, <laughs> and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in a couple hours for the second beginner's guide on the, you know, the Monday thing before um, 4 o'clock Monday. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys in a couple hours. Laters!